the project out here on I-94 is approximately a five mile three lift asphalt overlay and cable barrier replacement. Part of the neat part of this project is we're doing an innovative uh, full depth rapid replacement asphalt where we're removing the existing concrete underneath the bridge decks that has deteriorated over the years because we have limited fixes for that and we replace that in one night with full depth asphalt. Another neat part of this innovative process is we're able to remove and replace it with new pavement and still maintain our existing bridge under clearances which uh, allows for the existing traffic signs to be still relevant and notify the public of what they have as far as bridge clearance. We come in and we saw cut the pavement uh, a couple nights prior to the removal so we can get it in manageable, manageable sections um, and remove um, just what we can replace at night. We've been getting approximately five to seven hundred feet at night um, and with that, once the pavement's gone, we remove the existing aggregate base and compact that to the pavement recommendation depth. And then we replace it with asphalt, um, three lifts at approximately four inches per lift, and get that compacted and then open to traffic uh, prior to the morning restriction times. We're doing this at night, uh, closing one lane um, during non-peak hours to have the minimal impact on the motorist. And not only that, it's kind of for the safety as well, as we're able to provide the safety benefit of not having those open holes exposed for a long period of time. Um, from starting to removal to putting the asphalt back in, we're about four or five hours. This is our third project in Southwest Michigan uh, utilizing this. And we've come up with some modifications to it and this is the first year that we've mandated the use of an asphalt transfer machine which keeps all the trucks and equipment except for the asphalt paver off that subgrade. I think that this process has a huge long-term benefit um, to the state of Michigan and the taxpayers because now we have a way to provide routine maintenance on these projects um, that's really cost effective as part of a larger project. We can remove and replace the deteriorated pavement in a, just a typical mill and fill asphalt pavement project.